it's the end of the year and it's time for me to get my business and life together. 2023 was not my best year and I'm really looking forward to creating something better in 2024. So if you can relate and you are ready for an incredible next year, keep watching because I have some simple things you can do that will have you going into the new year feeling renewed, refreshed, and ready to go. So I have three different categories that we're gonna go through together. Number one is to do things that make you feel better personally. So this could be something like taking a day to catch up on sleep. This could be inviting your BFF over for a spa night and doing face masks and all the things. So just take a moment and really tune in to what you need right now and what would just make you feel better on a personal level. For me, this meant getting a haircut because it had somehow been ages getting my nails done, getting my eyebrows done, just things like that that would have me feel more put together and more like myself. So whatever that self-care thing is that you need right now, take the time, go and do it. You're gonna feel so much better after. Step number two is to make your environment feel better. So for me, that meant doing a deep clean of my house, sorting through my closet, decluttering, and donating a bunch of items. I felt so much better after doing this. And then you could consider purchasing some small items that just elevate your space. For example, some fresh flowers, maybe some new candles, a new throw pillow. And because this is about business and life, don't forget about your workspace. So for me, I rearranged some furniture. I got some fresh sunflowers, bought a new plant. Uh, which that's more like a tree actually. Okay, got a tree. And I upgraded my space so that I'm now using a stand for my laptop, got a magic keyboard and trackpad so that I could have better posture while I work. Some other ideas include hanging up new artwork or photos and then switching up your lighting to create a warmer, welcoming space. But the overall point here is that your environment really impacts your well being and productivity. So take the time to create an environment that makes you feel good. Step number three is prep your business for success. I would start with grabbing your phone and decluttering. So this can be things like going through your camera roll and deleting duplicates or any photos that you no longer need, going through your apps, deleting any that you're not using. As you're doing this, I would also be looking for clips that you could reuse in content. So what I do is I create a album on my phone for B-roll. So basically any clip that could be used as background footage for a reel or TikTok. This is so handy and saves me so much time. So any clip that you have of you working behind the scenes, even just scenery, you walking down the street, whatever, drinking your coffee, that can all go into your B-roll album. Okay, so you're gonna go through and declutter your phone. After that, you're gonna turn to your computer and declutter that as well. So if your desktop is a hot mess right now, go ahead and organize those files. It's gonna feel so good to do this. There's a ton of things you can do here to declutter. For example, you could clean out your project management system. You can get rid of old, overdue tasks that you're not gonna do, that's fine. You can clean your inbox or you can just accept defeat and you can archive all of them that are in there and start fresh. That's totally fine too. I actually have a full checklist for you that includes tons of ways for you to declutter and prep your business for success in 2024. So click the link in the description below to get that. It's totally free. And finally, take the time to grab a notebook or journal and reflect on 2023. So what are the biggest lessons for you? What were the biggest wins, your biggest challenges? And what are you really hoping to create in 2024? So while it's fresh in your mind, do a proper review. I also recommend opening up your accounting software, really looking at your numbers and seeing what lessons you can pull from that. All right, so that's how to get your business and life together before 2024. In my next video, I'm gonna share with you how to create the best year yet. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon with that video.